Hi, my name's Simon, I'm from TradeSupermarket.com and today I'm going to teach you how to dot and dab a wall like this. Okay, so the tools you need for your shop are a level, a feather edge, a couple of builder's buckets, a mixing bucket, a large brush, a trowel, a hawk, a tape measure, a standing knife, a plaster's rasp, a plaster's saw, a bucket trowel, a pencil and a sponge. Right, okay, so first things first, we want to prep our wall. We're going to cover it with a bit of PVA. I've used it at a 5 to 1 ratio, which is 5 parts water and 1 part uh, PVA. Just want to give it a good coat and let it dry. <coughs> right, so our PVA is dry now. But as you can see, we've got ourselves an electrical box. We need to cut around this. You can either do it two ways. You can either do it before you put your boards on the wall. We can do it once it's stuck. I prefer to do it once it's stuck because you get a better cleaner line. So what I'm going to do, taking our spirit level, I'm going to mark off each end, both top and bottom. And then do the same for the sides. And mark it on the floor. Remember when you're doing this, make sure you come out enough because obviously when our passport goes on, you might lose the lines. Right, okay, so now we're going to work out where our balls are going. I'm starting from this point, so what I'm going to do, I'm using 8 before 4 sheets, but I'm going to stand in vertical to the horizontal like our stud wall. So you need to measure 1200 from your wall and carry this on. 240. And that's going to give us a measure of what we need to cut. Right, now that's saying 4, 5, 3 iron millimetres. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little bit off just to allow for a bit of maybe unlevelness or bows in the wall. Right, so now we've got our marks using the biggest level you've got. You're going to want to run some lines down your wall. To where your balls are going. Right, okay, so now all our balls are pre-cut. What we're going to do is knock our adhesive up with our mixing drill and our mixing bucket. You just want to take this slowly, try not to put too much in at one time. This keeps a nice consistency. Right, so that's our adhesive knocked up. As you can see, it's not too runny, it's not too thick, it's just right. So let's get it on the wall. Right, okay, so now we've got all our adhesive knocked up, we've got our lines marked, our balls are ready to go on. So all we've got to do first of all is put a, a solid line of adhesive all the way at the top. This is for building regulations, as for if there's a fire. It can't travel all the way up and it'll reach the top and it'll stop there. So let's do that first. So we just want to slap it on the wall. Keep it the same thickness all the way over. Okay, so now we've got our solid line at the top. Now we're going to start from where I'm going to put the first ball, which is starting over here. So we're going to keep your dobs about 12 inches apart and keep them all sort of roughly the nice, the same sort of size. So we're ready for our first ball. Now as you can see I put a bit more around the plug socket so as to when our electrician puts his socket on, it doesn't pull the plasterboard in. Right, okay, so now it's time to put our first board in place. Right, so we'll give it a few taps. 
fair version level. I want to see what it's like, first of all. It's not too bad. Taking off beverage. So we're tapping. Looking down the line of the beverage to make sure the ball is straight. We're going to keep going diagonal with it. Both ways. So making sure the power was all off, it's now time to mark out for our socket, which we've already made our marks for earlier, as you can see here. Right, so when you plaster the saw, you just gently want to go around each edge, but obviously I know my wires are coming from here, so I'm going to take special care and go at a slight angle. Any joints, you just want to pop a bit more in and then carry on the process for the next board after that. Well, okay, so we're ready for our second board now. Place now it's time to put our last board in. Same as before, we tap it in. And then we can check our level. And that's it. Okay, so that's it, job done. If you followed our step by step guide, then you should end up with a wall that looks like this. 